Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. All right, hello everyone. Today I am back with a little collection video. I thought it would be fun to go through all of my vinyl. A lot of people have asked for a vinyl collection, uh, and I just, I don't know, I just haven't made one in a long time. My plan for this video is I'm going to, I have a ton of vinyl that I wanna show you. Um, I'm gonna try and show you guys everything, but that may make this video super long if I were to like open up every single thing. We'll see if I can show you guys every color variant that I own. I'll probably skip if any of them are just like a black record, I won't show it. So yeah, I love music. I listen to a ton of music. I'm actually filming right beside my record player right here, uh, but I'm a huge music listener. I listen to tons and tons of artists, uh, both Japanese and English, and even some Korean. I'll be showing some K-pop stuff in this video, uh, but I, mostly collect vinyl of artists that i'm obsessed with like english singing artists and then anything anime or like from a lot of japanese artists if i were to collect the vinyl of every artist i liked i would uh, run out of money and space so i've been very picky and kind of kept it solely to like japanese artists mostly and anime vinyl just to kind of keep my my numbers down <laughs> otherwise i would just buy everything because i love vinyl um, I'm, I also collect CDs. Uh, I will be showing my CDs today. If you guys want to see my CD collection, like I can also do that. I don't know how many people are actually going to be interested in that. I don't even know how many people are going to be interested in this video. Um, typically my vinyl videos don't do as well on the channel, but who knows? Uh, sometimes the algorithm loves me, sometimes it hates me. If you'd like the algorithm to love me though, if you enjoy this video, please consider liking, commenting, or even subscribing. And if you'd like to support Gwen Collects even more, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Gwen Collects. So yeah, let's get right into it. I have a lot of vinyl to show you guys. Um, I want to show you a few of my favorite English artists first, and then we'll get right into the anime, but there's some English artists I'm like desperate to talk about. Okay, so the first artist that I want to talk about is one of my favorite artists right now, and it is Leve. I've always been a pop girly. But Levy has been kind of getting me more into the jazz. I mean, I've always liked jazz music and stuff, but she's getting me more into the jazz, bossa nova, chill kind of music, but still with a very pop flair. So this is Bewitched, her new album. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I actually like overpaid for it horrendously when I was in Vancouver. Uh, I paid like $140 for this because I like couldn't find it anywhere. And then like, Two days later, she's like, oh yeah, deluxe edition, goddess edition. So I was like, awesome, love that. But anyway, so I have this version. Uh, the records are orange. That's what it looks like. So it's just like a nice like orange color. Um, I'm typically not a huge orange fan, but I do like this record. I think it looks really pretty and hopefully it was in focus when I showed it there. But the color doesn't really matter if it's in focus or not. Uh, it also came with like a very nice little booklet of photos of her with lyrics. See, I'm already showing you guys too much. <laughs> So this video is gonna take forever. Yeah. I love her. She's so stunning. Beauty. Literally beautiful. She's gorgeous. I love Levy. So yeah, if you're into more like jazzy, chill music, I love to just like put this on if I have friends over and we're just like hanging out. Levy is really good. Uh, I also have everything I know about love. The records in this one are like a clear color. Um, really, really pretty album. Front side, back side, and it's just a slip, so no trifold on this one. And then the other Leve one I have is her self uh, published one, I think. It is typical of me. This was her like first EP, it just comes with one, uh, and they are black. So, yeah, beautiful, love Leve. Definitely recommend you check her out. Actually, I'm gonna make a playlist as well and just link it on this video, or maybe I'll like link it above. Uh, if you're interested in listening to some of the music I like, you can check that out there. Okay, now I am going to speed run and then pause if there are any that I'd like want to talk about specifically, uh, but I'm going to try and like go as quick as possible through all of these. <laughs> we'll see, this will be a different kind of video. First up, we have Evangelion, Neon Genesis Evangelion, front, back, maybe I'll just, get off camera so that I can like know that these are actually in focus. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, Neon Genesis Evangelion, front, back, love this album. Really cool gatefold look to it, love. Next up we have Your Name, that's what it looks like. Very, very pretty, love it. 
an album. It's actually a really pretty record as well. So these ones are actually like clear. So pretty, obsessed with these. Then we have the JoJo's OST. Really, really beautiful. Love this one. Super, super cool album. And the records are gold. Next up, I have Mori Calliope's first album. Um, I actually don't know what it's called and I can't read that. Unalive or something? Beautiful artwork. Don't really actually like this album to be quite honest with you all, but the artwork is actually incredibly stunning. Literally beautiful. Oh, it's a, and it's actually a trifold. I didn't even realize that. Literally gorgeous. Holy, that is beautiful. Stunning. Then we've got uh, Weathering With You. Literally gorgeous. And the records in this one, I think, are a clear blue. They're super, super pretty. Then we have an absolute grail album for me. This is uh, Tombi by Kiev Baba. Obsessed. Uh, this is the opening to Trigon Stampede and one of my like holy grail records that they re-released and I was so obsessed, I instantly bought it. Then we have my Persona 5 Royal soundtrack. It is a really, really sick, uh, what is this, like trifold? If you can get a good view of that. Really, really gorgeous album. I love it. And each of the records in this are different colors. I think they're gold, silver, and black maybe? Something like that. Then we have the Persona 4 uh, box set from I Am 8-Bit. Absolutely love this one. I've definitely shown this in a video before, uh, probably in my last final collection or in a haul. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I love how the box looks. And then it comes with, I think four or five records inside and they all have different really cool slip cases and they're all different bright colors that kind of match these. There's like a yellow one, a teal one, like a silver one and maybe a black one or something like that, but they're all super, super cool. Then we have the Persona 5 box set by I Am 8-Bit. Uh, absolutely love this set. It is such a cool collector's item. It has a bunch of discs as well. Um, of all the just original Persona 5 music, you need the Royal soundtrack to get all the Royal songs that I just showed, but this is the Persona 5 original soundtrack. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Same deal as the other box set. It has a bunch of like records in here, different colors, red, black, silver. And I wanna say maybe clear. And yeah, obsessed, love this one. I have these two um, seven inch LPs in my collection. The first is the Attack on Titan. Uh, I actually don't know what this song is called, uh, but it is the one for the opening of the final season, part one. Uh, absolutely obsessed with this one. Super, super cool album, love. And then this is the seven inch release by, um, make sure that's actually in focus. This is the seven inch release by uh, Mitochronica uh, San Francisco, which is the final outro song in the very last episode of Samurai Champloo. So I thought when they released this on like a little seven incher, that was like the coolest thing ever. Obsessed with this one, love this so much. So yeah, these are my two seven inch LPs that I have. Then I have the Aimer opening to, um, what's it called? Uh, this season of, is this season three? The one with Tengen, Tengen season of uh, Demon Slayer. Absolutely love Tengen on the cover of this one. I knew I had to have it and it has Aimer on the back, which I love. I love this artwork on the back. And then I think the, yeah, the record is like a clear yellow. Pretty cute. Really, really, really love this record. Okay, so moving on to my new job is collection uh, and my um, Samurai Champloo and just kind of all of the Hideout Productions people. Uh, first, we have Metaphorical Music, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, this one is probably one of my most listened to as well. So the inside is beautiful, track list on the side, a little note from new job is on this side. It might be a little bit overexposed with this current lighting, but, and then on the back, it has the the soundtrack again and all of the people that are featured. But yeah, I love it. It's this very like nice, like matte paper too. They're super, super nice. And then the records are like a heavyweight black 180 gram record. So absolutely love this album. Listen to it all the time. Then I have this one. 
This is Modal Soul by New Jabez, another classic. Uh, I don't like this one as much as metaphorical music, but it does have some absolute bangers on it. Uh, the artwork is beautiful. Again, another note in the one side and then the track list in the other, and then all the people that are featured on the back. Uh, Feather is probably my favorite um, New Jabe song ever. So obviously I do love that one on here. And then obviously World World's End Rhapsody is probably one of New Jabe's most popular songs. So amazing album, definitely listen to it. Then here I've got the two Hideout Productions collections. So the first one is the Hideout Productions first collection. It has a cover very reminiscent of metaphorical music. So this is like a, a compilation album of like all of the different artists that are kind of under the Hideout Productions New Job Bases label. So we have this beautiful like watercolor on this side, this really pretty artwork here. Uh, and then backside, kind of like a negative of the front side with all the songs. Um, super, super good songs on here. Uh, I don't listen to this one as much though as I listen to the second collection. Uh, second collection, this is my favorite album of all time. I love the artwork, obviously it's beautiful. Uh, these all have that really nice paper that the Nujabe's albums are made with. Super high quality, all 180 gram vinyl, uh, all black. Track list is here, but again, it's light blue on white, so it's very hard to see on camera. And again, this is white on light blue, so. My favorite songs in this album though are uh, Sky Is Falling, uh, Hikari, Fly By Night, Old Light, and After Hanabi. They are my absolute favorites. So absolutely obsessed with this album. Please listen to it. Do yourself a favor and listen to this. It is amazing. And if you ever see this in a record shop, they're not too hard to come by. Uh, definitely pick it up. It is amazing, even if it is a little bit expensive. Okay, and then we've got my actual Samurai Champloo albums. So I have Departure. This is the one with uh, Battle Cry on it. Literally stunning. Holy Grail status for me, for sure. Um, then we have Impression. Right here, another gorgeous one has Mugen on the cover, both sides. This one has um, Who's Theme on it. I think that's probably the most like famous song on here. Uh, Departure, I think also has Shiki no Uta on it. Yeah, the Min Me, the outro song is on this one. So if you, if you can only get one from these, this set of four, definitely get this one because it has Battle Cry and Shiki no Uta, which I feel like are the most famous songs. But Who's Theme? It's on this one and it's very good. And this one also has Mugen on the cover, so there's- And although a lot of these are in their plastic, um, I, I do listen to them all. I just put them back in the plastic slips. So don't think like, oh, Gwen, you collect all these and then they just go to waste. I listen to all my records. Um, I don't keep any sealed, so. This is Playlist. Um, I believe this is the one I got that came incredibly warped and it still is incredibly warped. So playing this one is a little bit more sketch, but I absolutely love the artwork on this one. It's just so sick. Um, this one doesn't have any that are like super well-known, but I, it's just a banger. I love this one. Uh, but my favorite one over playlist is definitely this one. This is Masta. I definitely prefer Masta. Maybe Masta is my warped one. One of these two is super warped. I can't remember which, um, but I love the artwork on this one as well. Super, super cool artwork. Super amazing records, so good. Definitely pick them up if you can. They're also not too hard to come by. They're getting harder now, but they, they aren't too bad. And then I have a couple more uh, from Hideout Productions. This is the Haruka Nakamura uh, New Jabe's Prey Reflections. So it is, I bought this at Blackbird, which is my local record shop. Um, it is a like instrumental of all of, like instrumental cover of a bunch of the New Jabe songs. Uh, it came with this really pretty magazine, or not magazine, like newspaper type thing. I wanna hang this, actually frame it and hang it. But yeah, I love the artwork on this. Uh, it makes me cry though to listen to it. Rest in peace, New Jabe's. Um, it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful album with beautiful, beautiful piano arrangements of New Jabe songs. Uh, and then I have this Fat John, The Ample Soul Physician God's Fifth Wish album. So this one is pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Uh, this is on the Ample Soul uh, label, I believe. But Fat John did a lot of the music for um, Samurai Champloo. And I believe this album is actually, yeah, it's yellow. I love the color of this one. It's like a very like mustardy yellow. Super cool. 
I love. And the very last Samurai Champloo album I have is the original Samurai Champloo. This is the bootleg pressing of it. Uh, trying to get your hands on a real copy from 2006 is nearly impossible. Uh, and rumor has it these bootlegs are pressed on the same plates. Um, so this is what the album looks like. They are burgundy and there's three albums in here and each one has like one has Fu on it, one has Mugen on it, and one has Jean on it. Um, I don't like buying bootlegs, as you know, as a figure collecting channel, but in the record world, bootlegs are a little bit different from what I've heard. Ideally, I would like to buy the, the real deal of this, but it's just impossible to get. Um, and this bootleg is not like worse quality, the, the, it's the exact same quality that the original would have been. Like it's not like, I don't know. Um, it's, I, I would like the real one, but this is the bootleg. I'm gonna be transparent about that. I got it from some German site, I can't even remember, but it does have Battle Cry on it, which I love, um, and a bunch of the songs. But these songs are all on the four that I showed you earlier. So I feel like if you're gonna pick up something from Samurai Champloo, definitely pick up the other four. This one is cool, but I mean, if you can get the one from 2006 and you spend the hundreds and hundreds and maybe thousands of dollars to get it, you do you. The bootleg is where I'm at for this one. Then we have some movie soundtracks. The first is a silent voice, the movie. Um, this is in my original vinyl haul for sure. This was one of my first anime vinyl ever. Um, I've kept the OB on it, but this is what it looks like without it. Uh, it's literally such a stunning, stunning album. I love the artwork on the inside. Oh, beautiful. And I actually have the original version where, or the first pressing of this one, where it's, it's kind of, it doesn't pick up as well on camera, but it's like a dark blue clear with black swirls through it. I think it's supposed to be like a koi pond look. Uh, and it's literally so beautiful and so stunning. And I know that this first pressing that's colored sells for a lot and they did repress this album, but it's only on black. And a lot of websites never specify which one they're selling. So it's really hard to get this first pressing blue. So I don't know, that's one of my more rare ones that I have. This one is also incredibly beautiful to listen to. I love this album so much, um, but mine does skip a little bit. There's some popping and crackling on I think side B which sucks because there's a lot of silence in the music on this album because that's kind of the, the vibe. So I wish that it was like a more clean pressing, but it is still a really, really nice album. Then I have Josie, the tiger and the fish. Um, I love this movie. I saw it with my mom and she absolutely loved it as well. It's really special. This album is beautiful. It has a book that it came with and then this is the inside. I actually don't remember what color this one is. I haven't listened to it in like probably a year. Uh, but yeah, this is beautiful. I love these picture books that they come with sometimes. This is a wonderful movie. Anyone should watch it. And it is in English, which is really nice. So you can actually read the interviews and stuff. Um, let's see what color I got. I want to say I got like the, there was like an ugly tiger stripe pressing, but I don't think I got that one. What did I even get? Oh, I got this pressing. I don't know what they called this one, but it's clear with blue and white splatter. Really, really pretty. I love. Um, yeah, I forget where I ordered this one from. I want to say it was from like all the anime, all that anime in like the UK to get this color. Cause I didn't like the Crunchyroll exclusive tiger print one. Um, so I, I paid extra to get not that one. All right, continuing on, we got some more. We got this one, uh, this is the, what is it called? This was like one of the first anime vinyl I ever got. This is the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack from the anime. I absolutely love the artwork on this one. This inside gatefold is stunning. And then obviously the back is super cool has all the big songs on it. Um, and I got the version, I wanna show you because the slip covers and everything on this are just so amazing. But I got the version that has uh, one red clear kind of splatter with gold. Absolutely love how this looks. Um, and then that is for, I think, is it Phase Ship that's red? I haven't watched some, uh, Cowboy Bebop in years. Uh, no, I think it's Spikes that's, red and then phase is bluey silvery purple maybe but this is what the two look like and they're supposed to be like the two ships so obsessed with this colorway and i love this album like sleeve 
literally stunning. Then we've got the Hunter Hunter soundtrack by Tiger Lab Vinyl. This one is a tri-fold, says Hunter Hunter on the inside, has the whole gang on it. Really, really cool pressing. I got the Gone pressing, so this is what they look like. Uh, I'm pretty sure, it will almost dropped it. Pretty sure this is a pretty rare album now. Uh, Tiger Lab Vinyl does not put out records very much anymore. I don't know what's going on with them, to be honest. I've been waiting for their Death Note one for a hundred years. Uh, but yeah, this is the Gone pressing, so it's clear with green. Absolutely obsessed with it. Then we've got Amanaguchi's Miku. Uh, this is the song, like the Miku, Miku, you can call me Miku. That one. Uh, I love this one so much. It's from Polyvinyl, and I love the artwork on it. It is still sealed. I, I have listened to it and opened it. It's a teal vinyl. It's the color of this sticker on it. Um, super, super pretty vinyl. Really, really heavy, nice pressing. And this is the only record I've ever gotten where the edges aren't like thinned on the record. They're thick. And I don't know if that's just a specific way of manufacturing or what, but I love how the record is like really, really thick on the edge instead of coming to like a taper. But yeah, I love the like metallic cassette on it. Oh, super cool album, love it. Then we have the album of my queen, Addo. Um, I'll, I'll open this guy. This artwork is really pretty. So this is my Addo Kyo Kyogen, I believe. Uh, gorgeous artwork. I love Addo so much. This was her first album. Um, and I'm just obsessed with every song and I'm desperate to see her in concert. She, she's just on a world tour or just finishing her world tour right now. Uh, but the closest she came to me was Los Angeles, and I cannot afford to go there to see Addo. So I'm hoping one day when I'm in Japan, she will be there at the same time. But yeah, absolutely love this album. Such a good album, so many good songs. Uh, but my favorite is definitely Ashura-chan and Usewa. Okay, next up we've got one that is not anime, but it is a Japanese artist, and it is the Baby Metal 10 Baby Metal Years. I bought this album when I was in Japan at Tower Records in uh, Shinjuku? Shinbuya? Shibuya? Which one is it? I the big tower records that's over there. Uh, I bought it there and it has a bunch of their like famous songs. My favorites are Megitsune, Headbanger, and um, uh, Papaya. So yeah, love these, love this album. Very cool. I'm so glad to have baby metal, baby metal in my collection. And then we've got two by uh, Millie. So this is the key ingredient record. I love Millie. Uh, Millie is just, Actually, she's a Canadian artist, but she lives in Japan and she's done music for some video games and stuff, but I've just always been a fan of her music. This is like a more instrumental arrangement. I don't love this one as much, but it is a beautiful album. And then I have this one that I'm obsessed with by Millie. It is for the Library of Runa, which I believe is a game. I have played the game, but this was on their band camp. They did like a fundraiser, so I funded it to get this album and like that was, I don't know, I feel very cool and niche for that. Um, but it is To Kill a Living Book. Really, really cool uh, artwork on the inside. Yeah, I love it. My favorite song is uh, String Theocracy. Absolutely wonderful song, I love it. All right, we're getting there guys, we're getting there. We're almost there. Uh, next up is The Rumbling by Sim. This is one of the final openings for Attack on Titan. Love this album art so much with Aaron on it. Uh, backside looks sick as well. This is my favorite, one of my favorite Attack on Titan openings. And uh, yeah, the record is just black. Uh, but yeah, it comes with lyric sheet and the record. It's just the single. Um, side A has the whole song, side B has instrumental and the TV size version. So it's just a single, but absolutely love the artwork. I'm so glad they did it in a full 12 inch LP instead of a seven inch because the artwork just needs to be, it needs to be shown. It's so stunning. I have left the OB on, but yeah, obsessed. I love this album. Then we have the One Last Kiss album from the Evangelion movie. Uh, this is the Asuka version and this is the international version that has the clear, um, or maybe this is the US version, I don't know. But the, the records are like super clear. I love how this looks. Um, I actually ordered the Europe version on Amazon Canada and it's clear blue and I ordered it like three years ago and Amazon keeps just pushing back the release date. <laughs> like I still have the order made. So I'm, I've just kept the order to see if I ever actually get the other version of this. But yeah, I do have this clear version. 
Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna get the blue one, but who knows, maybe one day Amazon will pull through. Okay, now we're getting into some fun ones. So the first one is the Chu Taiyose song by, uh, shoot, I can't remember the artist's name that sings it. I'll have to put it on the screen. But it is the outro song to Chainsaw Man, the, the one where she barfs in his, Himeno barfs in his mouth. So I just love that this album has this as the, the cover art. I think it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, oh, it's Anno. It's Anno that sings it. Here she is on the back. I love when they do this where they'll do like an anime scene and then they'll have the actual like album art on the other side. I think that's really, really cool. So I definitely got this one. I was obsessed with this. I wish they'd released all of the outro songs as albums like this, but I'm obsessed with this one. I think this one's hilarious. Then I have the uh, Addo um, One Piece Film Red album. I love the artwork on this where it has uh, Uta and it has Addo and Luffy. So cute, um, but yeah, super cute. I love this album. So, there's some amazing songs on here. Backlight, um, Tote Musica, and then uh, shoot, New Genesis. I don't know what it's called in Japanese. Uh, love all of them. So yeah, obsessed with this super, super pretty album. All right, guys, we made it. This is my very last anime uh, record. It is the Evangelion Final. Wait, yeah, yeah. This is Evangelion Finally. The other one was One Last Kiss. Um, Evangelion Finally album, one of my absolute favorites. I think this might have been my first anime record or one of my first. Uh, absolutely love this one. I've played this one so many times and the variant that I have of this one, I love more than anything. I think it's my favorite record in my whole collection just because of how good it looks. Just look at that. Obsessed. I love the teal labels with the like pink and dark pink splatter. Literally stunning. I love it so much. This is definitely my fave anime vinyl that I own. Just so cool. As you can see, I switched back to my t-shirt. The shirt I was wearing originally was very cute, but uh, if you could see in the first few clips of me showing records, I felt like I was like dangerously close to <laughs> not being safe for YouTube. Let's just say that. So I switched back to the t-shirt, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing my record collection. I actually didn't talk about that many artists that weren't uh, just anime or Japanese. I do have a lot more albums, but I just, I was running out of time, but I did want to shout out Leve. I also have the uh, Chapel Roan Midwest Princess album coming. Oh, and one more, one more. I have to throw this in at the end because look how stunning Hanny looks on the new New Jeans album. Uh, look at this, literally gorgeous. This is just their like double song album. I love how big it is. It comes with like a bunch of stuff inside. Um, K-pop? Artists, they know how to market them properly. Like this is just a CD. This is the CD itself. And then you get all this other stuff, photo cards, etc. I know there's a lot of drama surrounding New Jeans right now. And while I don't think that their producer lady is a very good person, um, I still love New Jeans and I really wanted this album and I love Hanny, so don't, don't, don't kill me, okay guys? <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. I love talking music. I'm gonna put a playlist uh, in the description for this video because I'd like to share with you guys some of my favorite songs right now and just some of the music I play on repeat. I'll put some of my favorite anime openings, anime outros in there, just everything I like to listen to if you're curious what I like to listen to. Um, and let me know what anime albums you guys have in the comments below. Which ones do I need to pick up? I've been kind of behind on looking up the different ones that have been coming out. So let me know if there's any cool ones that I've missed. And uh, yeah, let me know if there's any really good songs as well that you enjoy. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. A huge thanks to all of my patrons over on Patreon and an even bigger thank you to all of my Chica Tier patrons, Riomi, Castle, Anonymous, Melindy Lou, Remember June, and Chance. Thank you all so much for your support. As always, I hope you all have a very wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.